Well, how is the beautiful community of Darwin Project on PC or Xbox One? My name is Gamerside, also known as Fatal Odds on the Xbox One. If you want to add me, my gamer tag will be below in the description so you know how to spell it. A lot of you have been asking me, how do I use a bow? Why do I do this weird, like, move to the left, move to the right thing right before I shoot? And any bow tips that I have for other players that shoot normally or whatever it is. So, here are a ton of tips and how I also shoot as well. So, here we go. Alright, so I know every every different pro on PC or Xbox One, a lot of them are going to have different styles or different way to use a bow are going to say something different, but this is my opinion and different techniques that you can use to get better, etc, etc. So here, when you're reading someone and they're doing basic movements and they're moving left or right, you can usually lead a shot. So like I hit him once here, lead my shot a little to the right, lead it again if he's going to walk that way and shoot. So it's all kind of a guessing game and always about reading your opponent. One of the biggest problems I see in fights is people don't understand how to get room from each other to settle up your bow shots. I see a lot of people I go against and they kind of freeze up. I can get an easy combo or hit them once and get an easy like two shot headshot combo on them. You'll see that in a lot of my videos. But here obviously I get out red, but it's all about throwing in some swings to deflect or moving to the left and then maybe crouching just a little bit and then going up for the bow shot. Just always trying to find room so you can get in one or two bow shots before they can. But I can't stress enough, throwing in some axes is very important in juking in the person you're about to attack, because if you're an only a bow person, the problem is if if they get uh, pretty close and up and personal, it's really hard to keep bow fighting them. So it's really about keeping a kind of common ground between each other, trying to outsmart your opponent, and I can't stress that enough, but that's just really how it goes. And seeing their movements and trying to judge where they're going to go next so you can put your arrow into their head. So the thing is, before I go any further, you're going to find your own rhythm and kind of your own style of how you like to set up shots and when you're going to go for shots. So the thing that I do that you're going to see in a second where I drag my controller and shoot, that is the thing I've picked up. I, I'm going to talk about it later in the video, but I'm just telling you a lot of people have different techniques for that. This is probably one of the most important things I stress, and I've stressed in an advanced tutorial. There's also a settings video about this, about what settings you should maybe get used to first. Stop changing your sensitivity settings every single game. Try to get used to a certain amount. If you like kind of a little bit slower sensitivity, do that. If you're used to playing with higher sensitivity in games, try that. But give it 5, 10, 15 games before you change your sensitivity again. The sensitivity is really important for getting your arrow shots on key and on point. Because it's all about getting used to the game, and I've had the sensitivity since this game came out, that's why I'm so used to it, and that's why I use Arrows a lot, just so comfortable with the sensitivity. So get comfortable with it, spar in lobbies, whether it's someone standing still or someone actually moving, moving is better obviously, but this will get you a lot of help. This is mainly going for the people that are fairly new to the game or not very good at the bow yet. So what you're going to want to do is probably use normal arrows, because you're going to start out with 5 at the beginning of the game, so you'll have more chances to practice and shoot, and then eventually you can move to fire. And berserk when you feel comfortable so getting back to it a lot of people message me why the heck do i look towards the right and then use my toggle a little bit right before i shoot to go to the left or vice versa left and a little to the right because what happens is if i think they're still going to be going to the right it's kind of a mindset thing if i think they're gonna not go left but they're gonna go more to the right i change really quick and do a slight toggle movement and usually can get the hit on but it does take a lot of practice or in order to master this and shoot i'm not even a master yet Okay, one of the last things is definitely terrain, where you're at, is there a lot of trees, are they going to go in a cabin? How I feel about cabins and bows, if you're directly, like, furthest you can in the cabin, which you're about to see here, I think shooting arrows is fine, going to the left and right and trying to shoot each other, I get that. But maybe to be safe, um, if you're not completely comfortable with it, get one or two shots off if you hit, and then get out, and then wait for them, and then bow fight them for the rest of the house outside. And we are about 4 minutes and 10 seconds in, so this is me signing off. I hope this video was at least somewhat helpful for a lot of you, and especially for the new players. Hope you're picking up on this, guys. Stay with Darwin Project. This game's just getting better and better. Thanks for Scavenger Studios for really working hard on this game. And, uh, guys, if you want certain Darwin videos I haven't done yet, whether tutorial or maybe you have a funny idea, post in the comments below. I read all of them, and maybe I'll even do it. Love you guys so much. You rock.